One of my top five comfort foods would have to be spaghetti meatballs. It is a delight to not only cook, but of course to eat. And I always like to make a big batch of these. So before we get onto the meat, let's do the sauce, very basic sauce, into a saute pan. And I'm actually gonna be using the titanium 12 piece Ingenio set. It's a fantastic set because it not only comes with a saute pan, it comes with a wok, a large pan, lids and also plastic lids so you can store. And the best thing about it is it's versatile and stackable. So if you've got small storage areas, this is the ultimate set for you. So in here, this is heating up. We want it to be quite hot and we're gonna quickly fry off some onions. So one onion that I finally chopped along with a little garlic. And then I've just minced my garlic, so it's quite fine. And this is a little trick my mate Adam Swanson taught me to add some basil at the beginning. So it perfumes the sauce as it cooks. We can also add some fresh basil at the end and you can put the whole stalk in just like that. Another little mix. And at this stage, I also like to add a pinch of salt. Now, while that's cooking, let's get on to our meatballs. I love the combination of pork and beef, so 50-50. The pork keeps these really, really juicy, but by all means, if you want to do 100% beef or 100% pork, also works a treat. So we'll start with some salt. And you can see there's quite a lot of meat here, so we need a good amount of salt. One egg, crack that in. And these aren't only binding agents, but it's also going to ensure that our meatballs are really fluffy. Some ricotta, so a generous spoonful of that. One to two. And my friend's nonna would always add some bread. So some stale bread that's just been soaking in some milk. And this is her little trick to make them extra special and really, really soft. So after the bread's been soaking for about 10 minutes, it's absorbed a lot of the milk. Now we need to squeeze out the excess. So squeezing that and we'll just break that up into our meat. Okay, some freshly cracked pepper and some parmesan, a few spoonfuls of grated parmesan, one and two. Okay, before I start mixing this, let's have a look at these onions. See how they've softened up nicely, smells great. In with a tomato, some passata, you'll need about 600 to 700 grams of that. And again, a pinch of salt for those tomatoes, it really does need it. A quick stir, and that's our basic sauce. So lid on, and I'm just going to remove my detachable handle now because we're going to need that for our fry pan. So let's mix the meatballs. The best way is just with your clean hands, really get in there and combine everything. You want it to be kind of a sticky consistency. I've also prepared a tray just with some baking paper and this is really handy so we can roll them and you can do this ahead of time and pop them in the fridge before cooking them. So I like little meatballs for this recipe. Kids love them, kind of tiny too. So around that size is what we're after and I'll just place them onto the tray. So I'm going to roll these out and then fry them very briefly in a large Ingenio pan, just with a little extra virgin olive oil. Second batch of meatballs have been fried so they can go into the red sauce too and just completely submerge them in that rich tomato sauce. Being really gentle, you just don't want to break them up, we want to keep their shape. Look how big a batch of meatballs this is, just wonderful. And these are going to cook for a further 20 to 30 minutes. Once they're done, I'm going to cook some spaghetti. I've just strained the pasta and immediately I'm going to add my beautiful meatballs. So we'll just use a ladle to ladle them out, an even amount of sauce to meatballs, and then we're going to start tossing them. Now my pasta is al dente. If the packet says eight minutes, then I take the pasta out of the water at six minutes because it's going to continue cooking as I toss with the meatballs and also some of that starchy water. So reserve a little bit. This helps allow all of that pasta sauce to coat the spaghetti. So fold it through like so. I like to add some Parmesan cheese 
here. We can add some more to the top and you can just keep tossing and you'll see that sauce thicken and that's how you serve this. You don't want to be adding the pasta to the bowl and then the sauce on top. This just tastes so much better when each spaghetti is coated in the sauce. Okay, to plate up, we'll grab some tongs, grab some pasta, scoop it up, twirl it like the restaurants do, and then we'll pop that in the centre. I like to get some extra meatballs for the top with that rich red sauce. And you know what I'm going to add now? Some extra parmesan. Sprinkle that over. And that is a very authentic way of making meatballs. That's the ultimate comfort food for me. And the best thing is look how many meatballs are left over. Place the plastic lid that comes with the set on into the fridge. You'll have meatballs for the next day.